Let's go from southeast Louisiana, take you to the storm. Let's start with Ian first, though, because we've still got a massive Category 3 hurricane. I want to show you it made landfall earlier today, so it's already happened once. Western Cuba, you can see here the small town that just outside of made it winds 125 miles per hour, still a Category 3 status. Look at this infrared satellite or visible satellite imagery, and you can see right now that the eye wall kind of almost splits in two. So you can see there's a bit of what we see eye wall replacement that's right here, but that imagery really shows you how tall those clouds are. You can see right at the edges, seeing all the way down in towards the ocean. We do have the northeast quadrant, unfortunately, something we know of. This is one of the worst places where you get storms that spin up and interact and spin in the atmosphere, causing the possibility for tornadoes. So a tornado watch in place, even one tornado warning that's going on right now. Expected to be a major category four hurricane. It's already a major hurricane right now, but category four late tonight towards tomorrow, possibly making landfall still as a cat four with winds 130 miles per hour. Now that shift has come just outside of Fort Myers to near Sarasota and maybe even still cat one status as this moves inland towards Tampa. And also the latest, you can see more of a east and southeastward shift and maybe maintaining tropical storm status all the way. And I watch if it re-enters the Atlantic here that it could strengthen a little bit more. And that's why the possibility of maintaining tropical storm strength heading into even back to Georgia, just clipping Georgia and now towards South Carolina. That's where we do have some alerts up now. The last of watches that are tropical storm watches there. That's because of that possibility of restrengthening right now. Hurricane warnings all up and down from Tampa to just outside of Cape Coral to even Naples, Florida there in the very southern southwestern tip. Rainfall is going to be incredible. We're going to show you. Look at this. Our forecast has it just now near Cape Coral, Florida, with the latest imagery. Earlier was a little farther north, now a little farther south, still inland. And right here is the possibility of some restrengthening back over the Atlantic. And not want to glass over the rainfall totals. I showed this earlier. I'll click it back on our GFS forecast. The possibility of upwards of two feet of rain that could be coming. So this is all the worst case scenarios. Unfortunately, the strongest winds, all the rain coming down and the worst of the storm surge south. It looks to be near as you go to Pinellas County and outwards of towards around St. Petersburg and Tampa. The winds might actually push the water out, so the storm surge there might be better. But closer to home, we've got great fall weather. Those 80s feeling phenomenal with the drop in lower humidity thanks to the front that's passed us. And will continue to pump in cooler and drier air as the storm remains well to our east. Doesn't have a direct impact to us. Pulls in those northeast winds in and around it. We still stay dry. I call that relatively mild, although we'll be maybe near 80s, maybe a little warm in the afternoon in that direct sun. No rain. We could be down to low 50s north shore tomorrow, low 60s, maybe some 50s south shore. Those might actually be a touch too high. I can see even see some upper 40s. Then back to around 80 degrees for a high tomorrow, low humidity, but the winds 15 to 25 gusts even higher. So wind advisory kicking in tonight going through tomorrow night. That also means this heightened fire threat still a red flag warning through tonight. Then once again tomorrow, what does that mean? It means that fires can start very fast. You won't be flicking cigarettes out the window. You want to be very careful with other things that could start fires, grilling outdoors, even fire pits, that kind of thing. Winds are still up going into Thursday with some higher gusts. I'll call it breezy. Now our coastal flooding potential with a little change in the wind direction may not be as great, but it's still really choppy. We still got gale warnings to deal with. It's probably just safe to stay in. Temperatures beautiful, great fall weather. It's going to be crisp in the morning hours. I don't see any rain for the next seven days.